Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the follow-up of iOS 15.6. After a week of usage since Apple released 15.6 update, I have collected some user feedbacks to understand what are the common problems they are facing after 15.6 update and how the battery and overall performance is after the update. Some users have mentioned that their eSIM shows no service after the 15.6 update and some have said that their battery health suddenly dropped and battery starts to drain faster compared to the previous 15.5 update. I have suggested some troubleshooting steps and found them working. So I will be doing the same suggestion to you in this episode. Timeline is available in the description and in the first comment. Like if you are facing any such problems, you can straight away navigate to that portion of the video and you can quickly get it fixed. If you haven't updated with the 15.6 and waiting for some user opinions, then this video will definitely be helpful to you. When we look at the user feedbacks, totally 150 plus responses have been collected from iPhone SE first generation to iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can see most of them have mentioned it is good and some users have mentioned it is same performance just like the 15.5 update. Some users did show the red bars, you know, clearly shows that they are experiencing bad performance after the 15.6 update. In the comments, we can understand that majority have mentioned it is good, it is better than 15.5, their apps crash and some problems have already been fixed with the 15.6 update. And when we talk about the common problems that users are facing after the 15.6, number one, the no service problem after the 15.6 update, especially for users who are using eSIM. So if you are also facing such problem after the 15.6 update, simply perform a simple restart of your iPhone for many users that have helped to fix the problem. If you are still facing the issue, then you have to perform network settings reset and check whether the problem have been fixed or not. That will automatically perform a restart after the end of network settings reset. And that also found effective to fix no service problem, especially for eSIM users after the 15.6 update. And the second common problem that some users have mentioned is sudden battery health drop. The battery health could have refreshed after the software update. For a month, you know, based on my understanding, if you are regularly following the charging practice that I have been suggesting to you in one of our episodes, I'll leave that link in the description and in the first comment as well, then you can maintain the battery very well for a long period. However, for iPhones in general, Two and a half years to three years is the maximum lifespan where from 100% to 80% is the mark that Apple have also set, you know, in order to replace the battery. You need to visit the Apple service center and replace the battery. So the battery health overall, you know, one or two percentage reduce, you need to calculate from the month you have purchased the iPhone. So based on that, if 1% a month have been reduced, then it is normal. Otherwise, it is recommended to visit the Apple service center and run a diagnosis for understanding whether there is any problem with the battery or hardware of the iPhone. The third important problem that users have mentioned is fast battery drain. Do perform all settings reset and see which apps are draining the battery frequently by checking the settings battery section. Make sure you also update those applications. That is very, very important. After updating the iOS software, it is also important to update the software because they usually fix plenty of bugs with each update that cause such battery drain problem or any apps crash related problem. So it is important to make sure that the apps are also updated to the latest version after updating to the iOS and you can also perform a reinstall of the specific application if Instagram Facebook or YouTube is causing fast battery drain you can reinstall those applications and you can perform network settings reset to see some difference in the battery performance and you know the fast battery drain could be fixed by following these troubleshooting steps and overall these updates are very important and you know Apple have fixed 20 plus high security risks in iPhone iPad Mac computer and even for the Apple Watch as well. I hope this video helped you to fix the problems related to iOS 15.6. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.